All right. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. And uh, if you don't know, I'm committed right now. One video posted per week. So this is what I this is the best I can do while I'm in Arizona. But I actually figured this would be a really good time to make a video about how I'm traveling so much, especially this time of the year, how I'm always somewhere, how it's possible with work and with my schedule and with money and how I make it how I make it work. Um, while running right now the number one office in in Cutco on the day to day basis. So how how there's a couple things. First of all, a little background since January 1st, I started the year going to Green Bay. I went to Lambeau Field. That was on my dreams list. Um, then went to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. I had my girlfriend in town for a full week. Uh, I then went to Austin, Texas. I was there for a little while. I took a trip to Las Vegas. Uh, right now I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, I'm leaving here going to Destin, Florida for a little bit. And then I'm ending my little travel spree with a trip to Maui. And I'll be there for an entire week. So that's the start of my year. Uh, I feel really blessed, really fortunate that I get to say that that's how I start my year of 2022. Um, my year of 2021 wasn't a lot different. I, I did a lot of things like that. Uh, at the beginning of last year as well. So a couple things I would say that have helped me be able to figure out how to how to live like this or do this. Um, the first is I would really gauge what what are you doing for work? What is the job that you have right now? Um, there's so many jobs out there. Does your job allow you to be able to go out and travel and do things and have fun and take time off? And I think that that's something I'm really fortunate about or that I'm really lucky to have found in a sales job is I create my own schedule. So it's not only possible for me to be out traveling and doing things like this, uh, but all of the trips I take are basically from the company. Uh, the trip to Cabo, the trip to Las Vegas, Austin, Destin, Maui, those are all have to do with people I work with or the company has paid for it or it was a rewards trip from doing or doing doing good with the job or whatever. But I'm not paying out of pocket for those trips. Those are usually paid for. So that's my first tip is find a job that not only enables you to travel, but that rewards you with travel experiences. Because I, I say this all the time, I would rather make $60,000 with a company that takes me to places like Maui and Vegas and Destin than work for a company that pays me $100,000 and has nothing cool. Because at the end of the day, like we're all going to die you know, I'm really comfortable with death as Jesse Itzler talks about. I'm okay with saying that, but money comes and goes and, you know, the, it's the experiences that, that we remember. So, um, I'm really fortunate to work for a company like that, uh, that takes me places. The second thing I would say to look at is your time management. Um, I take my time management very seriously. My Google calendar, um, has every sec, every minute of the day filled going back all the way to two, to the end of 2019. Um, I plan strategically every second of every day, um, including trips like this. This is on my Google Cal, but it's also, it's been on there for the last six months. So if you look at my Google calendar right now, I can tell you the exact trips I'm taking this fall. I'll be going to Ole in New York. I'll be taking a trip to Colorado. Uh, I'll be going to Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, I'll be taking a trip to Virginia. And so I know everything. I'm going to Austin again in the fall. So like I know the things that are coming up eight months from now, which allows me to plan and, and be able to make that happen. So that's my second tip is time management, not just on a micro perspective, but from a macro perspective of looking at your whole year. My whole year is planned. I have a dreams list of a thousand dreams. 150 of them are in my schedule uh, to execute for this year. So um, this year is going to be awesome. I'm going to cross off hundred plus dreams and it's because I have it all planned out. The last thing I would, the third thing that I would say is really helpful is, is the money part of it. Um, obviously flights and trips and things, they aren't cheap. And so it, it costs money. Even if, if, you, if trips are paid for by the company, there's still expenses that go into it. So how is that possible? I allocate money for travel. So I feel like when most people get a paycheck, what happens? The paycheck goes to a checking account or a, or a savings account or both. Um, and it's just those two accounts is pretty normal. What the, the way that I 
allocate my money is when I get a paycheck, it gets split into seven, eight different accounts or buckets. And so I have an account that's specifically earmarked for travel, dreams list, um, think things that like things, uh, car, long-term savings for spending is what it's called, but it's Christmas gifts, birthday gifts, travel, dreams list, all of those things. Things that don't happen often, but when I do, I have money earmarked for it. And so every week, a percentage of my, I do percentage-based budgeting. So it's, I'm in a commission world, so my paychecks are different every week. And so a percentage of my paycheck gets allocated to eight different accounts every week. So as the year goes on, my long-term savings for spending bucket builds, 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 builds. And then when it gets to the point where I'm going on a trip, kind of like right now when I'm in uh, Arizona, for example, or in Phoenix, I just every penny I spend comes out of the long-term saving for spendings bucket. And so I don't have to worry about, can I afford this? Can I afford that? Can I afford this? Can I afford that when I'm on the trip? Because I had been saving all year for this. So there's a lot of different ways you can do buckets. There's apps for it. Um, how I like to do it is I have, I have eight different uh, checking accounts or savings accounts. I think you're limited on the amount of checking accounts you can have based on your bank. So I have I use Capital One Online Banking, Discover Online Banking, um, and I have a bunch of different accounts split up from there. So that's, that's the three things I would say. Um, if you're like, man, I want to get out and travel more. I want to do more things. It looks like Alex has, has an awesome life. Um, one, I literally social media is a highlight reel so i i talk about this all the time it's just a show you know the things i post like it's it is strategic for the brand and the brand is that i have a have an awesome life it's that's everybody's social media so that's the first thing the second thing like it is awesome like it's awesome traveling so what are you doing for work does it enable or offer you the opportunity to go out and experience things in the world um, number two is how well are you managing your time or are you even planning in awesome trips and things? And then number three is are you taking care of your money, allocating it for trips like this? So, all right. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going back to the pool. I'll talk to you soon.